Notable players in the community have been talking about how Netherworld Depths and Axe Spider are too oppressive in the current metagame. While I could throw in my two cents on the matter, I sort of already did. Instead, I want to talk about one of the big reasons why we're in this situation. False Gods. The second set of Battle Spirit Saga sucked. I think at this point most of us in the community can agree that this set wasn't very good. Now let's break down why this set sucked. Number one, too many vanillas. Let's get the easiest criticism out of the way. Dawn of History had 25 vanillas. There are a total of 31 vanilla spirits in this set. There should be like half of that. Why does set 2 have more vanillas than set 1? Of those 31 cards, there's like 4 or 5 that are at all playable in competitive decks. I'm not entirely against having vanillas in a set, especially if it's introducing a new color into the game, but to have half of the commons not only be trash, but uninteresting trash is absurd. Number 2. The Void Lords suck. In any other set, this would be at most a footnote. After all, it's only four cards. But the set is named after these guys, so I'm going to be harsher than I normally would. You'd imagine that if you were able to stick a 10-cost spirit into play, it would basically end the game then and there. Right? Eh, no, they're pretty underwhelming. Era's Wind Summoned effect is theoretically very powerful, but the dominating deck isn't putting out a bunch of small guys. Quite the opposite, really. Avaritia is a win more card in a color that already has game-winningly powerful cards that are cheaper. Superbia just sucks. I can't... I don't want to talk about it. And Fallen Angel is just a more expensive Arcana Joker. And that's really the main problem with these guys. Despite all of the reductions, they're just too expensive. Thus, they're not worth playing over cards that can win the game while staying cost-effective. Number three, green is here, I guess. Look, I'm just going to say it. Green isn't very good, and it makes me very sad. That's not to say green cards as a whole haven't been successful. Worker Ant-Man and Thorn Prison are the standout winners for being super easy to splash into a variety of colors. But when it comes to actual green decks, it's been pretty disappointing. The Ant Queen, which I thought would be good, just died on arrival. Heragdinus is theoretically good, but like I predicted, it too wasn't good enough. The only true green deck that has seen any competitive success as of the making of this video is an aggro style deck that made top 8 at the Tulsa Grand Open. And I'd argue that it's worse than playing white aggro. Which brings me to number 4. Everything else sucked. False Gods tried to introduce a new deck archetype for the other four colors, and they weren't very good. Red received cards for Dragonoids, with the exception of maybe the X-Rare, they were all really bad and the deck never took off. Purple got cards for some kind of undead archetype. While these cards weren't bad per se, they definitely weren't better than what Purple was already playing. White got mechas, which previously I thought would be good. Yes, I actually thought Loki would be a good card. But it turns out it's just a win more card. Why jump through the hoops of using Derm Dinah to make Loki unblockable when Derm Dinah himself is really all you need to end the game as white? Yellow actually got cards for two archetypes. Bird Folk and Otherlanders. Bird Folk came in incomplete and hasn't done anything, and Otherlanders just weren't very good except for one specific card. Arcana Joker, a nice unblockable spirit for yellow. Problem is, this card seems to be best alongside Axe Biter and other general good white cards. And it's not even the best version of the Axe Biter deck. 
In short, what we got were a bunch of decks that were either incomplete or just straight up do not have the power to compete with the previous best decks. All of this on top of just generally bad set filler cards. The playable cards that False Gods did give us were upgrades to existing decks and Thorn Prison. Which is why very little changed from the tail end of Dawn of History meta to today. It's still Axe Spider, Pterosaurs, Aggro, and then all the other decks below them. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more Battle Spirits Saga content. Until next time, laters.